trying to spill sage, black sage, salt, everything, everywhere. I'll clean it up when I get off. Um, welcome back everybody to Alfreda D at the VIP. Now we back with our air signs, okay? Air signs, somebody got you on a wild goose chase. Okay, so this is the advisory, so we won't be getting too much into that unless it's, I, get, I pick up something. So this is inner prep to inner step, okay? Inner prep to inner step, all right? So we're about inner prep, so you can inner step, okay? Meditation, do yourself an introspection, all right? Analyze the way you're moving so you can examine that with a cold eye, so you can develop the skills of inner strength, so you can be in the energy you want to want to receive instead of deceive, and what you vibe with is what you dive with. Pop your box, okay? Pop your box, you pop your blocks. All right, let's get started, my friends. Yeah, somebody got y'all on a wild goose chase. And I go crazy. Oh, let's start with um we're doing air signs, so let's start with I'm sitting here Aquarius. Let's see what your three your three advisories. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see my friends. Don't build your life, Aquarius, around others. So there's Aquarius that's building their life around others. A lot of people do that, especially women. You're building your life around others. Meaning, instead of you building your life from you to you, if you got something to do, you'll build around people. Okay? Strive for self-knowledge and remain open to personal growth and change. There's some personal growth you need, Aquarius. Um, the empty is more prepared to see the truth. So you need to empty yourself. And that's your mind. I tell you all the time, your thoughts is what get you caught. Okay, so stop building your life around others, my friend. This is... I'm tired of the same cards coming out for y'all. Okay, so man, being manipulated for one to come out. You're being uh, manipulating to outgoing. Okay, that one to come out. And now we have, you try to play something. Now that made sense. You try to play it, delay it, because you thought you was going to slay it. So the card I flipped back over was it says you were, you're being a, uh, trying to manipulate a situation. You're trying to slow down that situation, whatever that situation may be. You're building your life around this person, whoever it is. You need to strive for self knowledge, my friend. You need to pop your box, okay? Yeah, because you call yourself playing something, play to delay it, because you thought you was going to slay it. Pop your box, pop your blocks. Play it to delay it, because you thought you was going to slay it. Get your third Aquarius. Yeah. So you need to do some inner prep back and analyze the way you're moving. Whatever situation this is, Aquarius. Mm-hmm. You got to go in, friend. It's some shit you need to R.I.D. That means get rid of. Okay. Once again, knife. Mind, body, and spirit. Intention to cut. Okay, so somebody's trying to draw, keeps drawing your energy cord into drama. You need to, you need to do attention for attention. Who shall save the human race? Who shall save the human race? Who shall save? Okay, cut the energetic cords that are tying you to the drama at hand. Set yourself free. Pop your box. Okay, you need to cut some energetic cords that are tying you up in drama because it's affecting your mind, your body, and your spirit. Okay, so you definitely need to do some inner prep to inner step. And matter of fact, go ahead and fast. Put on your battle warrior prayer. Because whatever you tried to play, because you thought you was going to slay it, you manipulated yourself at the end of the day. At the first of the day. Yeah. At the first of the day, you 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 slayed yourself. Because you was being manipulated in a situation, okay? All right. Self-knowledge. You need to empty yourself, Aquarius. Okay, that's it for you, Aquarius. Okay, let's do Libra. Oh, okay, let's do um, Libra. 
Let's see what we have for you, Libra. Let's see what your advisory is. See what your three advisories. Examine yourself with a cold eye. Pe uh, periodically question your views. Listen to others and loosen your bit. Never underestimate your opponent. So there's a Libra out here underestimating their opponent. And admit your weakness when appropriate. Above all, find your spiritual path and keep on it. Pop your box to plop your blocks. See, this is what I'm saying. There's no competition in this. You got to you gotta work your own path. You got to work your own ground. You got to work your own tomatoes, your own corn. Okay? So whoever Libra this is, says you need to examine yourself and question your views and your motives and your character. Listen to others. You need to loosen up because you underestimating somebody. Yeah. Admit weakness. Okay? When appropriate, above all, find your spiritual path. So Libra, go find your spiritual path. You're going to prep the inner step. Yeah, Libra, find your, find your path. Yeah. There should be no opponents in the first place. <laughs> Shit, y'all teach what you teach and I do what I do. Yeah, stop coming over here on my plate. <laughs> and do what you do. It's a thousand things to talk about to get people on the path to light. It's not one way for to get, get on the path to light. It's many paths to back home to the spirit. Many paths. One thing I'm going to tell you, I'm about to push play on you motherfuckers, though. Yeah, I'm about to push play on you motherfuckers. <laughs> That's what I am going to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what your second card is, Libra. I can't stand here in the tub. Oof. Okay, letting go. You need to do some reflection. You need to let some go and move forward. Pop your box, Libra. Yeah. Reflection is needed. Let's get your second card. So that's just a, a, a side note. So you need to do some reflection, okay? Because you need to let something go. Only you know what that is and move forward. You're not moving forward. Whatever it is, you're not moving forward. Pop your box. Okay, second card. Damn. Damn, leave her shit. My side notes. You got a second side note. It says that there's a Libra out here that's self-seeking. Yeah, you self-seeking. So you, whatever you're doing, you're self-seeking. It's not up to be in service of others. You're not here to be in service of service of others. You're self-seeking, you're self-reeking, and it's going to be self-defeating. Pop your box. This is why they say you need to do some type of reflection and let go and examine yourself with a cold eye because you underestimating your opponent. And uh, admit when, when you have a weakness, my friend. Yeah, self-seeking. And you're self-reeking, and you're going to be self-defeating. Okay? All right, Libra. Yeah, I still gotta give you get your two cards. Those are side note cards. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me mix these up. Let's see what we have. Yeah, letting go. There's some levers out here that you need to let something go. Yeah, and move forward. Because whatever you not letting go is self seeking. And that shit reeks, whatever it is. And it's going to self-defeat you. <laughs> That's what that means. Uh-huh. Beware of your tendency to let things slide. Don't get stuck. Keep your goals in sight. And never relinquish your ideas. Don't burn bridges or block yourself in a corner. So, Libra, you need to watch who you burn. You're burning bridges. And you're going to back yourself in a corner, my friend. Mm-hmm. Let's get your third one. Yeah. You're burning bridges somewhere and you're going to block yourself in the corner. Don't burn the bridges. Beware of your tendencies to let things slide. That's why, this is why when there's a leak, I plug it up. I don't let it get to a, to a flood, baby. Energy will shape you, shift you, or shit you. Pop your box. Libra, your energy will shape you, shift you, or shit you. All right? That's it. Okay, so whatever this is. 
It's self-seeking. Whatever you're doing, you know what you're doing in your energy field. You're self-seeking. You need to let something go and move forward and pop your box, okay? Beware of your tendency to let things slide. Relinquish. Uh, um, never re, um, relinquish on your ideas. Keep your goals in sight. Don't burn your bridges or block yourself in a corner. Pop that box and uh, question your views and listen to others and loosen up. Never underestimate your opponent. Okay? Admit your weakness, Libra. All right? Done with Libra. And we're going to Gemini. Why does it seem like I'm the only one to get Libras, real Libra shit? People out there on tarot to be doing Libra. You, you don't never hear this kind of shit in their reads. Never. Why? Why? Shit. Yeah. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what you got going on. Inner prep the inner step. See what's in your fields. All right, Gemini. Hopefully I'll feel at 100% tomorrow. Yeah, that's that COVID shot. Ugh. Yeah, that shit gives you a fever, chills. You don't feel like doing nothing. Okay, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Heart chakra. Compassion. You need compassion, emotional balance, forgiveness in relationships. So you have a relationship issues. Go figure. Letting a, you're letting another person's emotions control your choices. So you're letting another person's emotion control your choices. So Gemini, what does this mean? That means whatever relationship you in, however that person is feeling, if you want to leave them or whatever the case may be, you're letting them control your choices. You're feeling unable to let this person go. The past wrongs by others, lack of self-love, jealousy and codependent unresolved grief okay so heart chakra zodiac is connect a heart chakra is connected to uh, the zodiac libra and taurus so this may be about a, a taurus or a libra yeah if you felt like you've been done wrong by this libra and can't forgive lack of self-love or whoever you're in a relationship with you are letting the emotion control your choices because you got some unresolved issues some unresolved grief so you're not making a choice okay Learn how to let go. Yeah, Libra, I mean, Gemini, you need to learn how to let go. Suffering and resentment. Yeah, you got a lot of suffering. You got a lot of resentment. And drop away. Uh, let them be more realistic about your uh, life. Be aware of indulgence. Your enjoyment of pleasures may be t tempered. You need to uh, go figure. Gemini, all the sex you're doing, all the drugging you're doing, whatever, you need to temper that. Okay. Uh, losing with grace can be an important win. Pop your box. Okay. The heart chakra just a side note. Let's see. Yeah, you got some un you got some um, unforgiveness, unstable. You let another person's emotions control your choice. At the first of the day. Let's see what your second card. So this is about a relationship. Yep, you're self seeking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, self seeking, self reeking, and it's gonna be self defeating. So whatever the relationship that you're seeking. Whether with this Taurus or this Libra, or whoever you with, it's a self-seeking. It's not a relationship. You're self. It, you only getting into it for yourself, and it's gonna self reek and it's gonna self defeat you. Yeah, because you have a problem with this Libra and Taurus, and praying did a damn thing to you, nine times out of ten. Yep, praying did nothing. Yeah. That's what kills me about a lot of people. They have resentment with a person that has not done anything to you, but the person you with and cheated on you and screwed your friends, then did all she possibly can, and you want to blame your counterpart because that may be your counterpart. You want to blame your counterpart for being your counterpart? Have you ever thought about maybe that your counterpart don't want you either? But you don't see her around here complaining and whining and talking about you and all that. For what? It is what it is. Self-seeking. You, you self-seeking. Difficult. You're very difficult. Very forceful and isolated. Try to be aware of feeling. If you're diff yeah, you're very difficult. Not surprising. You're very isolated and you're forceful. Those are, uh, uh, it says you're cutting. Don't cut off yourself from people that really love you. Take time off to cru uh, crusade to attend the daily matters. Be aware of your entity you're inviting in. Okay, yeah, you invite in an entity, a demon. May learn to become promise when necessary. You need to meditate, integrate, um, Gemini, and fast, my friend. Okay, gotta do one more for you. Yeah, 
You're self-seeking. Whatever you're doing, you're self-seeking. Uh-huh. Whatever you're doing is self-seeking. Yeah. You don't care about neither one. You don't care about this Taurus or this Libra. It's all about self-seeking. Because you want to self-defeat somebody. Yeah. You want to defeat somebody. Because you have a lot of um, jealousy. And whoever this other person, emotions that you're with, you letting them control your choices. Maybe they're talking about this Libra and Taurus, telling you that's your legacy and whoopty whoopty whoop. Ga -ga 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 nah, the legacy is over there with her. That's where you went. We got free will, so free chill. Yeah, try to leave others uh, to their own devices. You don't have to continue uh, them all the time. Beware of being unscrupulous. Guard the truth. Not an illusion. Don't use others so readily for your purposes. So, Gemini, yeah, self-seeking. You use others for your purposes. Yeah, you set up illusions for people. Yeah, you guard the truth and you set up an illusion. And you use people for your purposes, whatever that may be. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to continue them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You self defeating yourself. We're gonna get one for Gem more, more for Gemini since you're the last one. In a prep to intercept, friend. Yeah, uh huh. You want to use people for your own devices. It must. It, it, you're using somebody, okay, for your own devices to create an illusion, and it may be you may be working with a Taurus or a Libra, because the heart chakra card is out here. Whatever you're doing, you're using this person for your own device. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Let's do one more. The energy. How you feeling, your thoughts and memories, your feeling attitude, your belief systems, which influence your vibrational frequency of the associated chakra. Your thought box. Okay, so if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to uh, mess up your thought box. It's your attitude. Yeah, it's your attitude. And your belief system. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to sum that up for Gemini. So there's a Gemini here who's self-seeking. And he may be trying to self-defeat a Libra or a Taurus. And it's going to self he's self-seeking. He may be using a Libra or Taurus as his own unscrupulous, as his own device, trying to guard the truth and hide and make an illusion. So he uses people for others for readily for his own purposes. Pop your box, whoever this Gemini is. You're very difficult and forceful. Mm-hmm. You need to attend to your daily matters. You need to watch what entity you're inviting in. You're having too much sex, drinking, pill popping, or something that you're doing. Those are entities that you're allowing in. You're suffering. you got resentment going on. You're with somebody, and you're letting them control your choice in love. Okay? Be realistic about your life. Okay? Be aware of your indulgence. You need to temper down on your indulgences and your pleasures, because that's what you do. And uh, Okay? And it's important to win, my friend. Grace can be an important win. Okay, grace. All right, all right. That's it for Gemini. Inner prep to outer step. Be in the energy to deceive. You're in the energy to deceive right now. Okay, you need to examine yourself with that cold eye, um, Gemini. Okay, so that's it for you guys. I hope that can help you to create that position of strength. I keep telling you, your thought box will make you a shit box. Okay, that's it. Talk to y'all later. I'm free to D at the VIP.